Hello and welcome to episode 40 of Youth Squad Legends Series 4. We're in November now. Let's do a squad report. Reese Cansdall Sheriff, overall of 70, gone up by 1. Brees Roof, overall of 64. Gaidrius Alauskis, overall of 73, gone up by 2. Daniel Hinteregger, overall of 68, gone up by 1. No Simmons, overall of 67. Pedro Bastos, overall of 64, gone up by 2. Jose Demenzes, overall of 64. Sam Gale, overall of 65, gone up by 3. Ronald Chavez, overall of 67. Johan Sudaquitz, overall of 67, gone up by 3. Kwame Cresswell, overall of 63. Diego Pereira Aguilar, overall of 69. Nicholas Ayala, overall of 71, gone up by 2. Florencio Corto, overall of 65, gone up by 1. Jack Aikens, overall of 70, gone up by 3. Lucas Jennings, overall of 58, gone up by 2. Cal Yakovic, overall of 64, gone up by 1. Miles Smith, overall of 65, gone up by 1. Richard Oliver, overall of 66, gone up by 1. Nicola Minerini, overall of 64, gone up by 2. Rodrigo Vasquez, overall of 63. Lorenzo Rios, overall of 64, got up by 2. Alexandre Azevedo, overall of 65. And finally, Vladimir Kozlov, overall of 65. First game this episode is Wolverhampton Wanderers against York City. Porto. Still struggling to adapt in this league. It's nothing but pace. Technically, it would be all right, but he hasn't got any pace whatsoever. Chavez! Oh, piss off! Why can't we score? No, Simmons loses out. Now, Hinteregger has to win this and does. What a fucking tackle, son. We might be losing a lot of games, but all our best players are in that defence. Demenzes. Chavez, Johan, great turn, Suda quits, god damn it, Sam Gale now, he can't pull the cross in, oh we're ball, here's Evans, skips past the challenge of Simmons, Brees Roof clears, and it's dropped to Olauskis fortunately, into Rega, Olauskis out, Johan, Turned again. Well done. Oh, just hasn't got the pace. No one's got the pace for us. Corto. So hasn't got the pace. He's fallen over. Oh, Alauskis. So much power by Alauskis. It's untrue. Chavez turns the goalkeeper. He's finally scored. 35 minutes got into this game. And we are leading Wolverhampton Wanderers. Ball's gone wide. Simmons and Hinteregger dealing with the challenge. That is fantastic defending. And Hinteregger pushes forward. Finds Tracky Bottom Smith. Let's get him a goal. Tracky Bottom Smith. Oh, he scored! Freak me in the anus! Bloody hell! It was almost Ryan itself when he was running upfield. You knew if you'd give him the ball, he'd do something. Oh, it's a goal. The reply. The instant reply. It's no clean sheet for our defence. Wolves 1, York City 2. Full time. 2-1 to York City. And with that win, we start making a gap between us and the relegation zone. Monthly scouting update from England. Let's go. There's only two. Uh, there's one of a potential of maximum 87. The overall's quite good at 49 to 65. So I am going to take a punt on that one. Sign the player up, Joe Kennedy. We have two more monthly scouting updates here. The first from Brazil. Uh, there's an 84, but nothing special there. Reject them all. And the second is from Poland. There is a potential of 92. It's, it's another centre mid. I'm getting so many centre mids, but you know what? A potential of 92 could be special in the future. The other people on the list aren't very good. Let's reject them all. York City against Reading. 
Oh, that's a great ball. <laughs> a mixture of Olauskis. Oh, my God. For fucks. How has that gone in? Keeper, where are you? You're in no man's land. The first shot was well defended between Kansdall Sheriff and Olauskis. But after that, Kansdall Sheriff went walkabout. Wait, where's he going? He's supposed to be on the goal line. Kozlov. Great pass. Kwame Cresswell with the acute angle shot, but on his wrong foot. And that is the result of hitting it with his left. Oh, we might as well go on ultra attacking since they're already winning us. You know what? We might as well lose 2-0 and say that we've gone for it. Oh, that's a ball. It's Kwame Cresswell. Oh, dear, that was on his stronger foot. Olauskis there. Very well timed the challenge. Kozlov. Oh, look at the space. What Cresswell's getting on this wide side. Whoa! Yeah! It's his third chance of the match. And this time he buries it. Half time at 1 1. Nothing to split them so far. Oh, dear. Gap. Chance. Keep tight on him. Keep tight on him. How the fuck did he get that shot off? Yes. Yes. Kozlov with a volley. Oh, fucking hell. Yes, I'll take that. Johan gets it. The pass wasn't for Pereira Aguilar in the first place. But it's to Dubenzes. How many times are we going to hit the post? God damn it. Oh, shit. Oh. What can you do about that? <laughs> oh, this is just not our game. You know what? Just forget about it, lads. Forget this game ever happened and just move on. I said at half-time that nothing could split the teams as they went into the break. The only thing what split them in the second half is luck. And... That's what's got red in the two goal cushion. How can you say that we've not deserved a point from this game? The two goals they've scored. One, right, if he's found the bottom corner from there, then credit to him. But the keeper should have done better. I don't control the keeper. And then the third goal is a slice of luck to even get to the striker. And then it's just... Bounced off Breach Roof's fucking crotch area and gone into the bloody net. Full time at York City 1, Reading 3. Last game this episode sees Birmingham City face York City. Freaking hell, it's snowy. Oh my godness. Should this game have even been played? Johan. That's a good ball. Kozlov. Very good. Kozlov. Oh, what a goal that was. He beat the defender all ends up. Then he obliterated the ball with the shot. Took a slight deflection as well. That's a bit of luck right there. Presswell with the corner. Alauskis is there. Can he win the header? Yes, he can. Last year's manager's player of the year has just tucked in York City's second of the game. Oh, Lauskis. Oh, he's left a gap. Kansdall Sheriff, well, he made himself big, so credit him for that. It's still 2-0 at the break, and it looks like we favour wintry conditions. Johan. Oh, that is a blinding ball. And Johan's continued his run. It's Surdequitz for a third. It's 3-0. And York City have wrapped this game up. Corner at the end of the game for York. Can it be 4-0? Gale launches it. There's a head off. It is cleared off the line. And it finishes 3-0. 
What a fantastic performance by York City, and it is the best time to finish this episode. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a like, and I will see you next time.